No matter how normal consumer drones like in this video that you can buy aren't really as popular as they were a few years ago, this big danger of a drone colliding with an aeroplane is still in the back of the minds of airports and pilots, often demonstrated here with a test what happens when a drone hits an airplane wing, where they really did manage to to properly show the genuine dangers here. This is not a good, you wouldn't want to have this happen to an airplane here. This would cause you to maybe lose lift in a very bad case if that was a very heavy drone and very small plane. I mean, it still does happen nowadays where airports often get shut down because of drones being sighted nearby. Again, something you really would like to avoid. And it's been avoided so far pretty well. There's not really ever been a true case of a drone properly hitting and damaging an airliner. I mean, okay, we know all this video here, viral video from 2015 here on the Southwest 737 here. We can see New York departing LaGuardia Airport, but then suddenly, check this out, Casey Neistat in New York here flies his drone into the proper winglet of this plane, pretty much splitting it in half. It's pretty much fully cut off. Plane now is flying with asymmetrical wings. Oh my God. I mean, of course, this video is fake. Very well done by like a visual artist. I think the easiest giveaway here is the name of the visual artist that's replacing the Southwest Airlines logo, brand.com. Maybe you can take a visit on his website, whatever. I mean, okay, this is a fake case, but I've always wondered what would happen here if a plane was to really much lose one of its winglets, the left one. And so everybody, it's time to finally use our beloved flight simulator again. Yes, everybody, welcome to X-Plane here. We're on board a 737-800, which I've done some modifications to. Yes, everybody, using Blender and a little bit of trickery, I managed to make an asymmetrical 737. Yes, check this out. Like in the video, the left winglet has been pretty much completely cut off while the other winglet on the right side is still there. Something that will be very uncomfortable for flying, I reckon. Now this is of course kind of visually done. Uh, come on, give me some props. But of course with the flight model, we can very much recreate this left wing part being off. Here, left wing one being broken. And so we also have physical a simulation of what an asymmetrical wing kind of looks like here. Um, let me try to take off here. Let's try, let me try to fly, just like in this video, a half-working airplane. Come on. Let's go and release the brakes here. Maybe let's try to go um, get a bit of flaps in here. Maybe a lot of flaps. We're on a short runway here at Gibraltar. Maybe not the best airport for this kind of purpose. But everybody, things are looking well. I mean, we're not in the air yet. All right, come on. You can do it. There you go. Yeah, come on. You can take off. Please, come on. You can do it. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, that was a tail strike. All right, there we go. We are in, in the air. Oh, with our 737. Barely. You didn't see that one. And so here we are on board our very poorly flying 737. This is interesting. So what I really have to fight against, and this is where most of the energy from the engines, I guess, goes to, is just, you know, rolling here incredible amounts to the right. In order for this plane to just stay level, I just have to hold it right here. Last, a trim will have to go into this. I mean, I can let go of the aileron. Here we go. It's now level. And you can see the plane immediately wants to die. Yes, asymmetrical wing is not very much funny for flight. Oh my god. Ugh. Like, this could generally, if the pilots didn't see this drone. Oh. I mean, let's be honest. The pilots were unaware of this drone actually impacting the wing and damaging it. And the autopilot just being on it wouldn't know how to deal with it. I mean, if I were to turn on the autopilot now and ask yourself, would it be able to handle this? Turn on the heading mode. There we go. Autopilot engage. It's actually uh, handling it quite well. All right, everybody, uh, never mind. Autopilot is kind of, kind of speaking me in this plane alive. That's great. Let me try to come in for a landing here now. Our main mission is like genuinely making this, very much banking this little plane. All right, come on, it's coming for a landing. All right, looking good. Runway is right here. I've got the plane out of control. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, don't overshoot it. Jesus Christ. All right. I mean, in case of an emergency landing, you would have to do a bit of a better job of keeping the plane stable and everything. But there we go. With a little crap, we've managed to land. It's maybe now time to stop. That should be the smallest issue of all. Here we go. There we go. We stopped despite our small runway. Despite our small mishaps. But this is definitely a very interesting one. An asymmetrical 
airplane. Now, has this kind of stuff ever happened? I mean, okay, yes, there's been some crazy structural failures that actually made it to the ground so far. I mean, we all know the F-16 case where a pilot landed with half of the one wing sheared off. This was successful. But like, you know, with airliners having the winglet cut off, not really. I mean, we all know this video here from 2016 at LaGuardia 2, actually. Yep. Proper Boeing 737NG wing strike with literally uh, the split winglet being sheared off. An asymmetrical wing shape. But there we go. Check this out. This is a very bad landing here with a go round on runway 13. Very much left of the center line. No one really knows what's going on in this video, actually. But there you go. We can see this very small portion being generally sheared off. This, I think, wouldn't do too much of the aerodynamics. This is a very small part. Looks almost plasticky. Not, not, not the worst. But this is a genuine case here of a proper winglet part being broken off on an airliner. But the plane managed to land safely. Obviously, this is not the most harsh case. But let's keep talking about real life because this is another very famous picture from an A380. Normally, this, of course, has these sharklets thingies. Here in this photo, we can see that it has both of them cut off where they actually managed to fly with this plane. Now, what happened here in this particular case was that on the ground, one winglet was broken. It couldn't be then fixed on the ground and had to be flown somewhere to be fixed. What they did is make this whole thing symmetrical. So, you know, one winglet being broken, so they broke off the other one too. And so we have a sharkletless A380 that flies. I mean, here, if we have our 737 on the ground, we could be very easily be able to fix it by just going full gone mode, I've called it. Let's check out what this looks like. Yeah, as you can see, now without any winglets at all. Yes, I've practically turned the normal 737-800 into a 737-200. And this is how you're able to fly. This is kind of not really procedure. But since we have no asymmetrics going on, and also since winglets aren't really that you know, necessary for flying itself. We're just able to take off just fine. There we go. I guess for that, we could just remove a left and a right wing. Yeah, that's going to go incredibly well. Come on, let's maybe try to take off here at Gibraltar Airport. You can, we have a lot, we have a bit of reduced performance. Nah, come on. There we go. We're able to fly here with parts of the wing missing as long as it's symmetrical. And yes, this does look very strange. I don't think there is a 737-800 without winglets. Sorry, funny, but it's fully gone. Maybe another fun idea would be just to cut the entire left wing off. Left wing two, all the parts of the left wing. There you go. This is pretty much all what you could remove from the wing. All right. Oh, yeah. We've now turned into a barrel roll machine or aileron roll. Wow, such a realistic crash into the water. Somebody, what have we learned today in this video? Perhaps it is a bad idea to fly your drone when planes are near. Like just the penalties of doing that, you know, this order isn't great. But even if this was to happen, I don't think this would be a fatal crash in real life on Southwest. So anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met R. LG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knott's Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.